Hey guys, we are going to go through the vending machine articles and highlight some important evidence. Um, so yesterday you should have read through these articles already or listened to Ms. Hurlis read them, but regardless, you should have gone through them yesterday. So they're familiar to you. Today we're going to take the next step. We're going to start highlighting some of our evidence. Now, a couple ways you can do this. You can either physically print out these articles and highlight them with a highlighter, marker, crayon, whatever you have at home. Or you can do it right here on this on the Google Doc, and I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't know how already, you should know. We've done it in Language Arts before, but um, so we're going to go through here. We're going to start by looking at our prompt, right? Because we always start there. So the prompt is on the third page, or the I don't know what page this is. Yeah, the third page. It says, "Imagine you were a parent in the audience when these two speeches were delivered. Based on the details and evidence in these two speeches, which speech do you agree with more, and why?" support your claim with reasons from both speeches. Okay, important piece of information here is this support your claim with evidence from both speeches. Now you may be thinking, Ms. Bozango, that's going to be kind of hard. Um, one article is for vending machines and one of them is against vending machines. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Hold tight. So we are looking for evidence that we have to first decide which speech we agree with more. So I'm, we're going to pick a side and we're going to use the same side. Now, normally, if you're writing this on your own, you could pick whatever side you wanted and you didn't have to do the same one. But to make it easy for these future videos, we're going to all do the same position. And the position we're going to do is that we're going to show support for snack machines. And you're going to see why here in a minute, just to kind of hold tight with me. So we're looking for evidence that supports why we agree with having vending machines in schools. So let's start with the easy one. Let's start with the one that shows support for snack machines because that's going to be easy to find evidence. It's chocked full of it. So I'm going to go kind of through paragraph by paragraph. Um, this first one doesn't have much in it. This next one talks about raising money. Um, it says, imagine sending your son or daughter on a field trip. Imagine having the fastest computers, um, teachers having the supplies they need. All of this is possible for a price. I'm going to highlight this sentence here. We have the opportunity to raise tens of thousands of dollars to help pay for special trips and the latest technologies to improve our children's learning. That's a pretty strong piece of evidence as to why we should have vending machines. So I've highlighted that piece of our information. I'm going to go up here to the highlight color tool. I'm going to click on it. And I like to use pastel colors because the really bright highlighter colors kind of hurt my eyes after a while. Um, so I'm going to choose yellow. And I'm going to just choose this second yellow color here. You can use whatever color you want. Don't have to use the same color as, that, as me. I'm just choosing that color because it's a little bit easier on my eyes. There. It all starts with installing vending machines in our schools. Don't need that. Okay, paragraph number three talks about um, our children's health. They say these machines could tempt our children to choose bad foods over good foods. Um, it's almost acceptable to eat all foods in moderation. Who are we to say foods? Say which foods students and teachers can and cannot eat. It should be up to the individual on which food they choose to eat. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe this one, it's acceptable to eat almost all foods in moderation. Kind of supports the argument that um, snack machines, even like snacky foods like chips and chocolate and stuff is okay in moderation. So we'll choose that one. Um, but I don't know. The other one, um, maybe it's the to say is maybe um, it should be up to each individual to choose the foods he or she wants. Yeah, okay, that might be a possibility. We'll include it just in case. Okay, paragraph four. Um, the important word is choose. Vending machines do not have to contain only soda and cookies. Many vending machines tailor their machines to include exactly what their clients want. That could be important information. Let's highlight that one. Um, therefore, we can request a variety of snacks. Students and teachers can choose which ones they want to eat. Stack machines may contain some standbys like chips and chocolate, but they can also contain apples, granola bars, and yo fat yogurt. Let's choose that one because that tells me what some of the healthy options that could potentially be in my snack, in my snack machine. It doesn't just have to be chips and chocolate. Oh, you can even include this one. Soft drinks may include regular diet and caffeine-free options as well as fruit juice and water. Okay. That's, that's important. That could be an argument for vending machines. Okay. Um, let's keep going. 
as a parent, I've learned that children are like bloodhounds when it comes to snack foods. They look for cupcakes and nacho chips in the darkest corners. It's not uncommon for students to leave campus to buy snacks elsewhere. Ooh, when students leave school to buy snacks and drinks, they put their safety at risk. That could be a big reason as to why we want snack machines at school, and they aren't leaving the schools. Oh, likewise, when students stop to purchase these foods on their way to school, they increase their chance of arriving late. That could also be a reason why we want snack machines at school. Um, by installing vending machines on campus, we decrease the temptation to sneak, seek snacks elsewhere. All right, yeah, I'll take that. Having these foods available at school will make our children safer in the long run. Eh, it's not really a support of anything. I mean, you could maybe highlight it if you really wanted to. It doesn't really support too much. Um, and then we just have in closing. Okay, so let's go back to let's go to the other article because we have to use both. Vote no for vending machines. Remember, you can pause this video at any time if you need to. I'm moving too quickly for you. Make sure you pause here, get caught up on this article. Make sure you have everything highlighted that you need to have highlighted, um, and then we'll hop on to the next one. Okay. Vote no for vending machines. Now, this is going to be tougher because we're looking for evidence in an article that's against vending machines. So we kind of have to be a little creative. So let's see. Uh, welcome parents and student and teachers. Um, as many of you know, some members of the PTA have proposed to install vending machines in our schools. The proceeds from these vending machines will help pay for after school clubs, field trips, and other programs. Well, that could be a support for a vending machine. It's telling you that the money that we're have raising here, oops, wrong color. The money that we're raising is going to go towards these things. That's supporting vending machines. Um, I appreciate those who developed this plan for your eager participation. I applaud any efforts to give our children more well-rounded education. And then it talks about how vending machines are bad. Okay. Paragraph three. Um, over the past few years, this is talking about diet, um, developing serious health problems, unhealthy habits can carry over into adulthood. These habits can cause like heart, things like heart disease. Early access to vending machines can contribute to these health problems. Vending machines tempt children during the only hours when parents are not available. Nothing in there is supporting vending machines. So let's keep going. In the fight against unhealthy foods, government leaders have created new guidelines. This is all about school lunches and breakfast being healthier. Um, meals have fewer calories. Foods contain less sugar and salt and stuff. Installing vending machines with chips, candy bars, and sugar drinks will ruin the process. Again, not for vending machines. Let's keep going. Um, many students have trouble paying attention in class. The last thing they need is more caffeine and sugar. Giving them access to these will uh, make the problems worse. Nope, not supportive. Parents and teachers, I'm in support of giving our children the best, most well-rounded education possible. I realize that installing vending machines in our schools will provide us with money that we could use toward important educational opportunities. That could be in support of vending machines. Let's highlight that one. However, these vending machines will result in more harm than good. Ask yourself, are my children's lives really worth a few bucks earned from vending machines? Okay, so we only have two in this, but that's all right. Tomorrow, when we start writing our body paragraph, um, we're going to see if we can use some of this information to help us for our follow-ups. We have to make sure we use both. So we have to use at least one of these two in our body paragraph. Um, but we'll get to that tomorrow. For today, this is it. Make sure you have everything you need highlighted. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment and let us know. Talk to you later, guys.